tier lists have become an obsession in the fighting game community. Nearly every player is constantly checking to see how their characters stack up. But what exactly is a tier list? And what does it mean for your favorite characters? Basically, a tier list ranks how viable each character is in a given fighting game. Stronger characters are referred to as top tier, while the weaker ones are called low tier. And then you have the mid tier characters who are everywhere in between. But how is a character's tier decided? Well, there are several factors to consider. One important factor is usability. Some characters are easy to use and have a straightforward playstyle that makes them easy to master. This can make that character top tier, especially if the game just came out. On the flip side, a character that is overly complex or simply difficult to use can be considered low tier. And it's important to understand that a low tier character isn't always a bad character. More often than not, a character being low tier simply means that they'll struggle against the majority of the roster, while a top tier character will have an easier time winning against most characters. So while a low tier character isn't necessarily bad, playing them is always a bit risky. However, what if I told you that using a low tier character can actually be beneficial, especially at the tournament scene? It sounds crazy at first, and yet we've seen players like Infiltration win two major tournaments with Jury, a character who's considered bottom tier by many players, the weakest of the weak. Yeah, Jury. Jury's such a funky character in this, in this version of the game. She got a little better for sure, but not probably to the levels of a character like Rashid. And yet Infiltration used her to win Grand Finals, and he's not alone. Many players like Breaker Dave use low tier characters to dominate the tournament scene. But how in the world does that work? How can a low tier character win against other fighters who are considered much better than them? Let's begin by explaining matchup knowledge. How well does your character play against other characters? Every fighter on a roster has good matchups and bad matchups. I think Zangief is a great example. Zangief is a grappler who dominates up close. Therefore, any character without a projectile has a tough time against them, since every attack they use has a chance to be parried, absorbed, or even thrown. And as a result, Zangief is allowed to fight the opponent at his own pace. However, any character with strong keep away becomes a nightmare for Zangief since he now has to avoid fireballs and make much riskier decisions, like jumping in and risking an anti-air. In this matchup, it's Zangief's opponent who sets the pace for the fight. In summary, every character has their own playstyle, and these playstyles can be countered by certain characters, and these individual matchups become more apparent with each passing tournament, especially for the popular characters that are seen at tournaments all the time. Every top player knows how to fight against Kami or Guile at this point, likely because they've fought these characters a hundred times by now. But the same can't be said for less popular characters, like Jury. Jury is rarely seen at tournaments, and as a result, many top players aren't aware of how to fight her. They have almost no matchup knowledge to go on, so countering her playstyle is very difficult. It sounds like a paradox, but oddly enough, a low tier character is less known, and therefore less predictable, which actually makes them a wild card against the opponent. Evo Japan was a perfect example of this. Infiltration had fought countless Rashids by this point, but his opponent Takuchi had likely never fought against a high level jury, and as a result, he wasn't fully aware of what her strengths and weaknesses were. Infiltration used his lack of jury experience against him, and this wasn't the first time Infiltration had done this. A while back during a Street Fighter 4 tournament, Infiltration used Hakan to defeat PR Balrog, who was arguably the best Balrog player in the world at that time. And I was just about to say, might be able to go to Hakan. Hakan is a hard counter to Balrog. This is a very, very tough fight for Balrog, not one you have to face very often. But even with all that skill, PR Balrog clearly didn't understand this matchup. And who could blame him? Hakan was considered one of the worst characters in the game, and practically no one used him at tournaments as a result. And after an intense battle, Infiltration won the day, proving once again that low tier characters can be a real wild card. After all, how can you defeat something you don't understand? How can you exploit a weakness if you don't know it's there? And lastly, how can you defend yourself from something you haven't prepared for? Many say that mankind's greatest fear is that of the unknown. So the next time you run into a low tier character online, I hope you've studied up. Otherwise, be prepared to expect the unexpected. Thanks so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like down below. It honestly does help my channel out a lot and videos like these take a very long time to make, but you're definitely all worth it. And while you're down there, please post a comment too. Who's your favorite low tier character? And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the bell. That way you never miss a future video. Make sure to come back next time and as always, stay underdogs.